Hey guys, I'm back with another quarantine update. Uh, so good news, we just got scheduled for our ICE flight, which is the flight from here in Christchurch to McMurdo. There's been a little bit of a hang up this year because the weather's been a little bit warmer and the runway hasn't been in the best shape, so we've had to do a little bit of shuffling around. But the good news is, is that the South Pole crew looks like we're gonna get first priority for getting down to McMurdo because we need to get to Pole as soon as possible, so that's good. So getting scheduled for our ice flight has sort of triggered this tradition where everybody heading to the South Pole takes inventory of how much spare cargo weight, how much spare weight they have in their bags, because we are weight limited on our flight. And to fill the spare weight with whatever commodities we can. Now what I've learned is that wine and cheese are pretty much the top priorities. So I ordered a couple bottles of wine, a bunch of cheese, and I'm gonna pack it in with my stuff. Hopefully it makes it all the way. I wanna go through in a second and kinda of go through what my typical day is like here in quarantine. But first I wanna mention that I have launched my website, which is super basic at this point. But if you go to joespinstheglobe.com, you can at least find my blog updates. If for some reason you haven't gotten enough of me on here, you can go there and read what I'm writing. Can't promise it's any better. Another thing I've learned is that I'm actually going to be the point person for a NASA study to be done at the South Pole over this winter on studying human behavior in isolation, kind of help out with their future Mars program, so that's super cool. Other than that, the way I've been spending my days here is in the morning I typically get up, I spend a few hours listening to medical lectures. Because of increasing resistance of gonorrhea, especially for treating anorectal and pharyngeal gonorrhea. Just to get the really important things, you know, to stay up to date. Occasionally, I go outside to walk around our yard, which is pretty small. So, the New Zealand Defense Force is pretty strict about not allowing any filming or recording down in the yard, so I can't take you downstairs. But, here's a view of the yard from overhead. Like I said, pretty small. There's a human for scale. People tend to walk around the perimeter just to get exercise. What we found is that if an American starts the walk, it tends to be in a clockwise direction. If a Kiwi starts the walk, it's in a counterclockwise direction. Then the rest of my day is taken up talking to friends, other crew members, and playing some Rocket League. Usually I get a little too amped up though and I have to go work out to blow off some steam. Yeah. 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 Come on, he's right in front of you! You kidding me? And that's lunch. So subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying it. I am scheduled to check out of the Crown Plaza here on the 25th and catch the ice flight at noon if all goes to plan. That would be 6 p.m. on the 24th uh, if you're going by Eastern Standard Time. See you guys next time.